The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. In 1995, Nashua City Mayor Robert Wagner and Arts Council Chairperson Marie Goyette were instrumental in launching the Downtown Revitalization and Beautification Project. One proposal involved the creation of a large mural to commemorate the iconic Yankee Flyer Diner, which stood across from City Hall for nearly 20 years, from 1940 to 1960, when it was bought and relocated. There it stood, a proud reminder of a time and place in Nashua's memory. Through 17 years of New England weather, scorching sun, drenching rain and bitter cold, beaten by ice and snow, it stood secure. But the weather had taken its toll on the images. Good morning. My name is Kathy Hirsch. I am the president of City Arts Nashua. We are a nonprofit organization in the city of Nashua around for about 10 years, promoting arts and culture in the city and the greater Nashua region. We're very excited to be here today to take down the Yankee Flyer Diner mural. This mural was done by James Oponovich, very well-known artist in 1996, and it is ready for a restoration. We're fortunate to have with us Warner Mercer and Kyle Mercer, who have volunteered their time to take down this mural. They're from Regional Siding. We're very pleased and appreciate all of their time and effort. I'd like to acknowledge Judy Carlson, who is the Vice President of City Arts Nashua, who has really led the effort on this uh, project. And also um, Fu Mafus from PRG, uh, which is Persian Rug Galleries in the City of Nashua, right on Main Street. And uh, Fu has offered to transport the mural once it's down to Peterborough, which is where James Aponovich's studio is. On Wednesday, September 23rd, the individual panels were removed and transported to Aponovich's home studio in Peterborough, New Hampshire. James had nine short weeks to restore the panels and reinstall in time for the downtown Nashua holiday stroll on November 28th. A few weeks before the restoration was completed, we were invited to the studio of James and his artist wife, Elizabeth Johansson. We're here in the home studio of James Aponovich. James is restoring the Yankee Flyer mural in downtown Nashua. This is in his home. These are 10 foot panels. So James had to use his atrium instead of his normal studio. Right, because when we I, well, when I did these, I always assumed there were eight feet, a four by eight foot panel, so standard. And then when we were taking him down, I look at him, I said, oh, like eight feet. And the guys who were taking him down measured him, they said, it's 10 feet. I said, oh, holy moly, our, our ceiling's here at nine feet. I really panicked, because we were bringing him here. I mean, it was, that was the day. And then I, I, I remember that this is one space that it was like 12 foot ceiling, so this is where they have to be, this is, this is it. Uh, it's fine, they're all, they're all here, and uh, we got them all lined up. Great. Did you know this was going to be this huge a project? Yeah. They showed me what the, the, where the wall was going to go, and where the painting was going to go on the wall. And the wall was really rough. It was yeah, just exposed with brick. Ex, yeah, ex brick. So uh, I wanted to paint on this uh, um, board, which was at that time what was sign, sign painters were using. 
and we um, got the board and they let us use the old YMCA building in Nashua because that was had you know oh, sure. huge space and we could set the whole thing up in there. Uh, you have plenty of portraits that you're working on mm -hmm. in this particular project. Uh, how are you, you doing the um, working from some photographs or from memory? No, or there's no photographs anymore. Was there anymore. sufficient detail here for you well, to Well, for with? instance, yesterday um, I was just started with the, the waitress and I just take what was there and it's like an archaeological dig. And I take what was there and I begin to replicate it roughly. And then I'll go back over and, and just keep on applying more and more glazes or transparent right. layers and build up the color. And, you know, even the, the, um, the chef there, Pie Man, I mean, he's, he's just sort of being built up and built up and built up. But they take on their own personality. So it may not have anything to do with the people that I did 20 years ago. Uh -huh. So I don't have the sources anymore, and uh, I try to keep it as factual as I possibly can. But sometimes things happen, you know, smiles get, you know, broader, or uh, eyes get, you know, more sparkle in them. But I kind of like that. It's kind of, that's, that's the fun part for me here, is to be able to kind of revisit people. I do Henry, you know, he's pretty much gone. <laughs> Well, I'll just make a Henry-like person there. You had a lot of challenges. What was your biggest concern when you saw it coming down? The biggest thing is that this has to be painted with house paint. And house paint because it's the most durable paint there is. Okay. And major areas are house paint, Benjamin Moore. And the other areas, the faces, uh, have to be painted with artist-grade acrylic paint, this stuff. And this stuff dries immediately. Yes. So with oil paint, it stays wet for days. So you can just blend and work, and you know, if you make a mistake, so what? Here, it's just as soon as you put it on, it's gone, it's dry. So it's much more difficult than that. So see, has the technology in the paint itself... Uh, it's advanced, yes. Advanced yeah. since then? Particularly UV protection, you know, ultraviolet oh, yeah, light. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what is a big destroyer. Because remember, this is on a south-facing wall getting heat of summer, cold of winter, sun on it all day long. I mean, can you imagine what it would do to us? You know? Really? And this is 20 years old, so, but now what they make is a really good um, varnish that we put on at the very end. And, and in fact, I'm putting on, uh, on the, every face I do, as soon as they're dry, I'll put a coat on, oh, perfect. another coat on, another yeah. coat on, yeah. so there'll be a lot of protection. So this shouldn't happen again. When we uh, first saw it, when it was coming down, we had some film where the white pieces where you have here, maybe the gesso here, that was like flaking off. Mm -hmm. And then we noticed where it was dark like here and the dark colors, they were like powdery and just mm -hmm. really faded. Mm -hmm. uh, so how did you actually have to do the restoration to pick off those pieces? Well, or? what happens is that, is that Beth, my wife and I, we work with this together. She'll come in and we'll wash these things down, get all the dirt and grime off, and we'll try to get as much of that, that coating off as we can. And then she'll take a knife, a flat knife, a palette knife, and scrape off all the flakes, and get those down to flat. Uh, then she comes in and sands everything to get right down to get that bare edge. wood again. And yeah. then she'll put on this white stuff, which is uh, gesso, and then that's sanded as well, and then, then it's ready to paint. Then I come in and, and then paint. So you're using a house paint. Is this going to be considered archival kind of paint? Do you expect to be doing this 20 years again from now with a <laughs> <Right>. roller? <laughs> My walker, I'll be doing it 20 years from now. No, this is going to last. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty confident that, that it will last. I mean, the, the, the parts that, that have held up so well are house painting 20 years ago. That's so, amazing. So it, it, I'm pretty confident that I everything... That, that would surprise a lot of people. Yeah, exactly. I mean, how, how many times you, you paint your house? You know, every 20 years? Exactly. Yeah, you, you hope. And plus you'll be putting the UV varnish on top of that. Layers. If this, if this were oil painting, it'd be gone, you know, after one year. Yeah. But because it's acrylic, it held up really well. And you don't have the same problems as you would in oil painting. You don't see it it's splitting, the paint actually splitting in, in layers. Yeah. It just gets kind of worn out. And 
And that to me is good because that means that the, the, the surface is still solid. It just means I just have to, you know, restore it by in painting. And that's, that's positive. But you can see here, I actually have Coca-Cola uh, sketched oh, in. Oh, yeah. It was probably, you couldn't see it for a while because the paint would cover it, but now the paint's wearing away. So I wanted to put Coca-Cola on there. So when we talk about the technology of the paint and the project you have in front of you, mm -hmm. we need it to last for another 20 years or, or so. Or more, yeah. So what type of paint would you be using uh, and how did you do the research on what you need to do? Well, I didn't at first. Judy had actually contacted a conservator uh, in Cambridge about coming up and evaluating the painting and seeing if it was savable. And she did, and she came up and she looked at it and, um, you know, flicked off some paint here and mm -hmm. scraped some paint there. And it says it's in rough shape, but it was, it was still workable. And so, um, um, she um, directed me to uh, this particular brand of paint called Golden Paint. And they're, they're um, heavy duty, very permanent acrylic paints. And these are the paints that she would use in her restoration of any um, uh, mural. Um, oh, really? Okay. So, so, the, uh, so that, you know, that was a pretty easy uh, transition between uh, going on their website, studying what they had for paints, and getting what we needed to for paint, and applying it, and plus the varnish coat at the end will be the same thing. So they offer the opaque in the tubes, and they also have the trans liquid uh, acrylics that you could use. Right, the tubes, or, or you, you, we could also get um, the same the thing in, 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 in jars. On the night of November 28th, the mural was rededicated, surrounded by city dignitaries and local townspeople. Today, the mural is as bright and vibrant as it was 17 years ago, and each area of concern has been restored to its original image. Thank you. 